All right, this is a step-by-step -step half log turtle that you're going to see um, I do. I actually do two of them, one for the guy, and then he comes back, and while he's here, he wants me to do another one for him. So I went ahead and did two of them. But anyways, he wanted this in here set up to where the, the shell wasn't curved like a regular turtle. He wanted to be able to set a glass on it, so I had to do a flat top on the shell, which you're going to see. But anyways, I have a 12 inch or 16 inch long. I cut it, and then uh, I cut it again, and then now I'm bringing out the shape of the head on one side, and um, I'm going to cut around that, and then that's where his neck and his feet are going to separate right there. And so there's the little one gone. And then now I'm going to bring up the side view of where the, the back of the front legs are going to go. And I go ahead and cut that around. And then now I'm showing you how I'm taking more off to give it more of a gap in there. And then I do have more gap around behind the head and the back and etc. And then you can poke the head way out or push it in. It doesn't make a difference. Again, this is a very simple carving. It's basically 12 cuts and you're done. Um, and then you just make it look pretty after that. Now I'm, I'm doing the back side. Notice it's just squared off. Now I got to taper it way in. There, I taper it way in and bring his legs out. And then I'm going to curve around where the shell is. And then uh, I'm going to flatten it off. Now it does look like he's really flat at the top. That's because the guy wanted to be able to set a, a uh, thing on it, a cup. So now I'm just rising up. I'm going to bring a little tail out in the back and stuff. And I shake the feet up, bring out my little Dremel, and then I start do doing some details. I don't do a whole lot of details on these, these two right here. Now I do sea turtles, everything. Um, these are back whenever I first started, you know, um, I don't know, six, eight months ago, carving turtles. The more you do, the more better you get, and the more faster you can actually carve them. Um, Mainly all I used on this right here was just a 16 inch chainsaw, a steel chainsaw is what I used with a cutting blade. It was the first time I had a cutting blade on it, a uh, diamond tip, and I was really happy with how much you could do just little stuff with it without having to get my Dremels out and everything else. So, and here's the back side. I'm showing you that the proportions are off right here and that I got to V cut it, which I do, separate the back feet. And um, now there's the top view so that you can see it. Um, also now, um, I actually make independent feet that stick way out because I have a hole puncher and I go in right between the shell and the head. And uh, these here, I just, you know, simple draw them and then painted it so that you couldn't see them. But all shells got the same diagram on it. And there's a whole big long thing of how it's 12 and it goes along with the months and all this, that and the other. And, uh, but anyways, I won't get into technical details on it. But... You can see right there how flat it is. And that's, like I said, because he wanted to set cups on it. Because it's going to set right beside his chair. Now you're going to see the other one that I did while he was here. It was way, way, way bigger. That one there was maybe a 12-pound turtle. The other one that he wanted wound up being like 84 pounds. And it was just a big, huge half log that I had here. And so I went ahead and did it for him. Now I'm showing you the dimensions of it and everything so that you can see now I slope the shells, everything, and make it look more realistic. This was just a customer's view of what he wanted, just so you know. So here's the other log. Now this is a big, huge log, and um, it adds some weight to it. It's like 80 pounds when I got done with it. I could hardly carry it around, but I did that one there in 10 minutes in front of the guy. Didn't look like it, but I did. All right, I hope you all enjoy these videos right here. And uh, I'm getting a little bit better about getting the pictures placed in. So hopefully you enjoy these step-by-step -step, uh, pictures, how to carve, and um, enjoy learning something. All right, you all have a nice, blessed day. Well, I ain't at the end of the video yet. But you have a nice, blessed day. And let me know if there's anything else that you need or anything else that you want to see step by step. And I'll do my best to put it out for you. All right? Take it easy.